airport emergency officer. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. We're going to hold at the position. Can you do a reaction test now? My name is Christopher. I'm 30 this year. I work in Changi Airport as a Senior Airport Emergency Officer. My job revolves around saving lives, protecting the property of uh, Changi Airport, and also to restore operations back to normalcy when something goes wrong. As a Senior Airport Emergency Officer, I manage around 30 staff across two stations in Changi. I supervise the team's training and also oversee the serviceability of the firefighting equipment and vehicles in the station. We conduct lectures and scenario-based tabletop exercises as part of our theoretical training. So during these uh, exercises, we will break down an emergency and discuss the various procedures to adopt during uh, an aircraft emergency. We conduct a lot of practical trainings and we try to innovate our drills as much as possible to ensure that we are prepared to handle any kinds of emergencies within the aerodrome. Okay, so for example, we will simulate an aircraft that had caught fire. Singapore Tower DO2 first fire vehicle arrive, fire fighting in progress, DO2. And we will test the proficiency of each emergency officer, how they tackle the fires, put out the fires and also rescue the passengers out of the aircraft. We also conduct reaction tests to test the readiness of our crew. So in our job, we are required to reach the end of the runway threshold within 2 minutes from the point of activation. Uh, can you do a reaction test now? I guess the most memorable incident that I remember was the first incident that I, re I responded to. It was an aircraft coming in with engine problems. So at that point of time, the siren just went off everyone started running to the vehicles. Um, I was pretty nervous, but at the same time, I had that adrenaline rush. Thankfully, my crew was experienced, so they knew what to do when we responded to the incident. If you ask any emergency officer what is their reaction when they hear a siren, they will be super alert, immediately looking out for any danger which might have happened within the vicinity. One misconception that we often get is that uh, many people thought that we only respond to emergencies involving fire. But other than fire incidents, we also respond to emergencies uh, relating to biological attacks, chemical attacks. We also respond to road traffic incidents, medical calls and also dangerous goods incidents. So I went to Polytechnic to pursue a diploma in chemical engineering. Subsequently, I went to university to pursue a degree in environmental engineering. After which, I graduated and joined the Airport Emergency Service. The minimum requirement to join the Airport Emergency Service is to have at least three GCE O-level passes or having a NITEC qualification. I always didn't want a desk-bound job. So after researching on the Airport Emergency Service, I went on to join knowing that this is going to be an exciting role for me and also a chance for me to be in a closely knitted team. Communication and teamwork is important in our job. So you can't do this job alone. You need your team to back you up. And being able to communicate effectively with your teammates is vital to executing our operations. In terms of mental strength, it needs to be there. So not only is this a physically demanding job, you need to have the mental strength because every emergency officer might face with a situation where they are dealing with dead bodies and also injured passengers. So when fatigue kicks in, they need to have the mental capacity to think straight and to adopt the necessary actions to execute our operations. It's not necessary to have any specific knowledge before joining the airport emergency service, but it'll be good to have some knowledge from medical, biology, chemical, fire prevention, or even engineering. Physical fitness is crucial in our line of work. You don't necessarily need to have a background in firefighting before joining the airport emergency service. But I think every officer should possess a certain level of physical fitness. So our job involves the lives of others. It is important to stay committed and train diligently so that we are prepared to handle any type of emergencies. So stay true to the mission.